Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's this video, we will start mathematics previous year questions from question number 51 to 60. Okay, so we have already uh, solved 50 questions in the previous 5 videos. And this is the 6th part of Karnataka TET mathematics previous year solution. So let's start the first question. So 51th question is denominator. The denominator of a fraction is greater than its numerator by 11 if 8 is added to both numerator and denominator it becomes 3 by 4 then the original fraction is so we have to find the original fraction so the option given is 36 by 25 26 by 25 25 by 36 or 24 by 35 let's solve and find the answer okay what they are saying so there are denominator of a fraction is greater than its numerator by 11 first sentence so numerator we don't know so let's take x x be the numerator okay we don't know the numerator so first we will take the value of numerator as x so what they are saying the denominator of a fraction is greater than its numerator by 11. If x is the numerator, then denominator of a fraction is greater than its, nu its numerator by 11. Means we will add 11. And if 8 is added to both the num numerator and denominator, 8 we have to add to both numerator and denominator, then it should be, this fraction should be equal to 3 by 4. So now we have to find the original fraction. The original fraction should be, x divided by x plus 11 yes we have to find this so to find that first we will find the value of x yes x plus 8 divided by yes it will become x plus 19 is equal to 3 by 4 yes now we will do the cross multiplication so it is 4 x plus 4 edge of so 4 we will multiply here and 3 we will multiply to this x plus 19 okay 4 into x is 4 x plus 4 edge of 32 is equal to 3 into x Plus 19 3 is a 57. 9 3 is a 27. 7 2. Yes, it is 57. Next, we will take x coordinate this side and it will become 4x minus 3x plus 32 minus 57 is equal to 0. Yes, this is how we will get the value of x. So, x here it is minus 7 minus 2, 5, 5 minus 3. 25 is equal to say so x is equal to 25 that's all 25 divided by 25 plus 11 yes what is the value of numerator 25 and the denominator is 25 plus 11 is 36 yes so the option c is going to be the answer of this question so it was so easy yes let's solve the 52 question one root of a quadratic equation 2x square minus kx plus 4 is equal to 0 is 2. So the root given is root is equal to 2. The value of k is. So what we have to substitute? We have to substitute x is equal to 2 in this equation. Yes. So f of x is equal to 2 it is. Okay. f of 2 is equal to 2 into x square means 2 square minus k into x means 2 plus 4 is equal to 0. 2 into 2, 4. So, 4 to the 8. 8 minus 2k plus 4 is equal to 0. Okay. So, it will become 8, 8 plus 4, 12. 12 minus 2k is equal to 0. 2k is equal to 12 and k is equal to 6. So, the answer option D is going to be the answer of this question. It was so simple. Yes. Whenever the root of quadratic equation is given, means you have to substitute the variable as the root value. The root value here is 2. So, we are going to substitute the x variable in this quadratic equation given as 2. And we will solve the equation. Whatever the constant value they have told us to find, we can find by substituting the root value. Okay. Yes. Let's solve the 53 question. So, the question is, Given that one of the zero of the polynomial a square plus 9 into x square plus 13x plus 6 a is reciprocal of the other. The value of a is, so here we have to find the value of this a. So what they are saying, 
the zeros of the polynomial so we should remember the formula for finding the zeros of the polynomial okay if the zeros of the polynomials are alpha and they are saying one is the reciprocal its reciprocal is 1 by alpha be the roots yes because they are saying the given that one of the zero of this polynomial is reciprocal of the other so two roots are there in any quadratic equation yes two roots are there so one is the reciprocal of other if one is alpha the another one is one by alpha so when we multiply it will become one by one alpha is equal to it will become one yes cancellation and it will get one we know that sum of the roots sum of the roots is equal to we know the formula is it should be minus b by a yes we will write it in capital and we know that product of the roots product of the roots should be equal to c by a in the quadratic equation given given quadratic equation what is there a square plus 9 whole square plus 13x plus 6a here a is equal to for x square coordinate what is the value a square plus 9 and b is equal to 13 and c is equal to 6a yes so the product of the root means alpha into 1 by alpha is equal to what we know it is c by a c by a means 6a divided by a square plus 9 so we have to find the basically the value of a so i am substituting the product of the roots and we know that alpha into 1 by alpha is also equals to 1 so this should be equals to 1 is equal to 6a divided by a square plus 9 so we can do, do the cross multiplication a square plus 9 equals to 6a yes so a square minus 6 a plus 9 is equal to 0 if we solve this equation what we shall get is 9 a square it will be written as 3 3 is a 9 minus minus 3 a 3 a so a square minus 3 a minus 3 a plus 9 is equal to 0 so a is common in this two a minus 3 minus of 3 is common a minus 3 plus minus 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 plus 9 okay is equal to 0 so a minus 3 is equal to 0 or a minus 3 is equal to 0 then a is equal to what we are going to get in both the condition a is equal to 3 so the value of a is equal to 3 option a is going to be the correct answer of this question the area of the base of a cylinder is 44 centimeter square and its height is 10 centimeter the volume of the cylinder is yes first we must know the volume of the cylinder okay what is given given is base area base area is given means base area is equal to 44 centimeter square and what is given height height is given as equals to 10 centimeter now we know the volume of a cylinder volume of a cylinder is equal to base area into height yes so base area is 44 centimeter square and height is 10 centimeter so the volume is going to become is 440 cubic centimeter this is so easy if you remember the formula you are gonna do it okay so volume of the cylinder is 440 cubic centimeter you should remember this let's solve the next question okay so the option d is the answer so the 55th question is a solid sphere and solid hemisphere have equal total surface area the ratio of the radii is so what is that surface area measurement is not given what they are saying it is equal so we should know the formula yes solid area of a solid sphere is equals to area of solid hemisphere yes Yes, what is the area of a sphere area of a solid sphere is we know that 4 pi r square so radius we will take of sphere is r1 okay is equal to this one is equals to the solid of a hem area of a solid hemisphere means 3 
pi r to square so they are asking the ratio of their radii means r1 square divided by r2 square here pi pi get cancel means r1 here we will i will take r2 in this side so here i take this 4 on the left hand side 3 by 4 so this is square means we can write how much r1 by r2 is equal to square root of 3 by 4 so what is the 3 by 4 square root root 3 as it is because root 3 value we don't know root 4 is 2 so the r1 by r2 ratio is going to be root 3 by 2 so the option root 3 by 2 means a option a is going to be the answer of this question understood you should remember the formula of a solid sphere and hemisphere so the area of a hemisphere is 3 pi r square and 4 pi r square total surface area of a sphere and hemisphere so this is how you will find the ratio of the radii let's solve the next question 56th question okay so the question is the angle of a quadrilateral r in the ratio 3 is to 5 is to 7 is to 9 the measure of its smallest angle is so how easy it is going to be in a quadrilateral how many angles are there there are four angles they are given in this ratio we know that sum of the interior all the four angles of a quadrilateral is equals to 360 degree yes so sum of total sum of angles of a quadrilateral of a, this quadrilateral is equal to how much 360 degree yes so we know that 3x plus 5x plus 7x plus 9x should be equals to 360 degree so the smallest of ratio is 3 3x yes so first we will find the value of x and we will multiply 3 with this x value and we will find the smallest angle of the quadrilateral yes first let's solve 5 plus 3 8 8 plus 7 15 24 x is equal to 360 yes now x value is 360 divided by 24 let's solve this with let's cancel this out with 12 12 to the 24 12 3 is a 36 0 2 1 2 2 5 is a 2 15 is a 30 okay so x is equal to 15 so the smallest angle will be 3x because it is the smallest value of the ratio yes so those if they have asked the largest angle then we have to multiply 9 into x the smallest angle is going to be 9x is equal to smallest angle is 3x is equal to 3 into x value is 15 we just found out so 15 3 is a 45 degree yes 45 degree option a is going to be the answer of this question it was so simple and easy yes let's solve the next question so the 57th question is in the given figure o is the center of the circle the value of x in the coordinate of p is so p and q are two coordinates given on the circumference of the circle p and q yes they must be equidistant from the center because they are the radius yes o p should be equals to o q okay so how we will solve we have to okay so distance formula is equal to root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square using this formula we have to find the distance of o p is equal to o q okay so o p is equal to how much it will become so we know the coordinates given o 2 comma 3 and q is x comma 10 yes so how we will solve this op root of so here we will consider this x1 this is y1 this is x2 and this is y2 okay so x2 minus x1 means x minus 2 whole square plus y2 minus y1 means 10 minus 3 whole square okay and when we will simplify this it will become equal to Okay, we will write x minus 2 whole square as it is. We will solve it later. And 10 minus 3 means 7. 7 signs are 49. Okay, this is OP. Now, we will find OQ. Okay, OQ. We know the coordinates of O. It is 2 comma 3. And P, Q is 1 comma minus 4. Okay, minus 4. If we find the distance between OQ, point OQ, how we will write? This one x1, this is x2. So, 1 minus 2 whole square plus minus 4 minus of 3 whole square yes when we will solve it will become equal to here it will it is minus right? minus 1 minus 1 square is again 1 only 1 plus minus minus plus it is minus 7 so 7 sides are 49 again so this should be equal to root of 50 yes 
when we solve this means op is equals to oq means op is we are having root of x minus 2 whole square plus 49 is equals to root of 50 yes let's cancel these two roots out and what we are remain with x2 minus x minus 2 whole square plus 49 is equal to 50 x minus 2 whole square is equal to 50 minus 49 okay we can solve this like this yes now x minus 2 whole square equals to 1 so if we take this root on this right hand side it will become x minus 2 is equal to root of 1 yes so root of 1 is again we can write it as plus 1 we will take we cannot take the minus 1 yes so x minus 2 is equal to plus 1 so x is equal to 1 plus 2 is equal to 3 so the value of x is 3 so the option yes op option c is going to be the answer of this question answer 3 okay op equals to oq first we should know this and using the distance formula of coordinate geometry we solve this question okay so the next 50th question is 50th question given is given 4 10 a is equal to 3 then the value of its 4 sin a minus cos a divided by 4 sin a plus cos a is equal to what should be the value or the option given is 1 by 2 1 by root 2 0 or 1 by root 3 so we know that what is given from that 58th question so given is so what is given 58th question given is 4 10 a is equal to 3 then 10 a is equal to we can write it as 3 by 4 and we know that what we know is tan of a is equals to what sin a by cos a yes so by that we can say what we can say we can say sin a is equal to 3 and cos a equals to 4 understand it yes it's very simple you should first tan is equal to nothing but sin by cos cos a by cos sin a by cos a yes so sin a will be equals to 3 and cos a will be equals to 4 okay now what we have to substitute the value of sin a and cos a in the given equation for 4 sin a there 4, 4 sin a minus cos a whole divided by 4 sin a plus cos a what should be the value of this yes 4 into sin a means 3 yes 4 into 3 minus cos a means minus of 4 whole divided by 4 sin a 4 into sin a 3 plus cos a again 4 when we will solve this what we shall get 4 is are 12 plus 12 minus 4 divided by 12 plus 4 it's going to be equal to 8 divided by 16 again we can cancel this out 8 1 is 8 8 2 is 16 so the answer will be equals to 1 by 2 so the option a is going to be the answer of this question okay let's solve the 59th question here the 59th question is what is given sin a is equal to 1 by 2 and cos b is equal to 1 by 2 then the value of a plus b only we have to find a plus b so we know that sin a is equal to 1 by 2 is nothing but sin of yes it is sin sin 30 yes sin 30 degree is 1 by 2 so sin sin get cancelled and a is equal to that implies a is equal to 30 degree next we are given with cos b is equal to 1 by 2 again we know that it is cos of 60 degree means cos cos get cancelled so what we are remain with b is equal to 60 degree so a plus b is equal to simple 30 degree plus 60 degree is equal to 90 degree so here option b is going to be the answer of this question you should remember the value of sin 30 cos 30 to solve this question okay 
yes so the next question given is the points minus 5 comma 1 1 comma p and 4 comma minus 2 are collinear if the value collinear then the value of p is yes what will be the value of p so that these points are collinear for the formula is if the points are collinear means they are all lying on the same line yes and the formula is let's take the point a as minus 5 comma 1 and b as 1 comma b and c is 4 comma minus 2 so we can use the formula here as so here a of x1 x y1 b of x2 y2 we will consider these coordinates and c as x3 y3 the formula we can use to find is if the points are collinear We shall solve this. So x1 is minus 5 into y2 minus y3. So here y2 is p minus of minus 2 means it will become plus 2. Plus x2 into means 1 into y3 minus y1. y3 is minus 2 minus of y1 means 1. Plus x3. x3 is 4 into y1 minus y2 y1 is 1 minus y2 is p yes when we will solve this all should be equals to 0 yes we will write it as minus 5p and here minus 10 plus 1 into minus minus plus it, is, it will become minus 3 means it will become minus 3 plus here 4 into 1 4 minus plus minus minus 4 p is equal to 0 so this p and this p we can solve as minus minus it will become minus 9 p and here it will become minus minus plus means 13 minus 13 and here plus 4 so it will become minus 9 so minus 9 is equal to 0 we can write it as 9 p is equal to minus 9 and p is equal to minus 1 9 is the 9 9 is the 9 get cancelled minus 1 is the answer yes you can solve this yourself once more okay and check the answer if it is correct so this is this is all about the 60 questions of mathematics Karnataka tech previous year questions if you like my video watch the video completely and share it among your friends group so that they also get the benefit from this video thank you so much for watching my video